next installment in Radiant Dawn. This is Chapter 3, A Faint Light. Uh, if you recall last time, at the end, um, Micaiah and company were looking for Laura in the woods, and she and Laura were captured and put in prison. <clears throat> I hope the others escaped. I'm sure they are safe and secure, just as I'm sure the abbot got his medicine. I believe in them. Pardon, excuse me, says our old friend Amy. Not to pry, but did you know you're bleeding? You've got some blood on your sleeve. There. Hmm? Oh, you're right. I've been so distracted, I didn't even notice. Unfortunately, there are no vulnerabilities to heal you in this rat hole. Here, try wrapping this cloth around your wound. Thank you very much. I don't believe we've met. I'm Micaiah. I'm Amy. I've been a lucky guest in this dungeon for quite some time. On behalf of myself and my snoozing friend over there, Alana, it's very nice to meet you, Micaiah. Hmm. Why are you two in here? I wish I knew. I belong to a merchant caravan that was passing through en route to the next market day. When we arrived here, we were brought to this charming prison against our will. Now we await the general's pleasure. I see. Well, that doesn't sound good. How unfortunate. Um... So you can talk. You've been so quiet over there, I assumed you didn't speak our language. If you wish, you may use this salve on your wound. It's an infusion of olivigra. I think it's olivigrass. Olivigrass? Hmm, I've never heard of it. Are you sure it's safe? It's unquestionably safe and effective. Thank you most kindly. I'll try it. Well, aren't you the trusting one? Are you honestly comfortable applying a strange medicine to your wound? I am. I know it will work. Thank you for sharing your medicine. You're welcome. Anybody recognize him? I do. I hear something. Here you are. Saf. Yune, I'm so glad you're both all right. Sorry it took so long to get here. Well, hello. I remember you. You've certainly grown up to be easy on the eyes. I believe I'm a little smitten. You two know each other? Somewhat. We crossed paths during the war. Let's get out of here before the guards come. I'll open the door, and then we'll find a way out. I'd like to get out of here, too. Like Amy, I have no idea why I've been imprisoned. May I join you? By all means. I thank you. My name is Kurth. Well then, Kurth, after you. Okay, now I will say, this battle may take me a while to get through. <laughs> I will try. Remember, like I said, this game on normal is the regular game's hard. And the hard on this is basically called Maniac Mode. So this is not an easy game to play through. So there are going to be restarts if I lose people. Or if I miss picking up characters that I want to pick up. Nolan Edwards, I'm thinking, how did you manage to sneak in this far without my help? Oddly, one of the soldiers led us in the back way. A Binyan soldier? Yes, he said, if you're here to save Laura, follow me. How strange. Why would a Banyan soldier mention me? The prisoners are escaping. Doesn't look like a very big map. Surprise, surprise. They found us. Micaiah, this is for you. My tome. How did you get it? I didn't know if it was yours, but I figured you could use it, so at the armory, I borrowed it, too. Well done, Soft. Now I can pull my weight and fight. I know I say his name different every time. And a staff for you, sister. Thank you very much. 
Um, I... I can fight too. Could you lend me that tome? What, you mean this one? Ileana, I didn't know you used light magic too. So that's a tome of lightning magic. It is? I give up. You just grabbed ran at random, didn't you? You know I can't read the old language. The letters all look the same to me. Here, if this one will work, take it. Just like old times, right, Ileana? Thank you, and yes, Soth. I don't want to fight, but I'm glad I'll get to fight alongside you again. Ileana, if you're not up to it, don't feel pressure to fight. We can handle the soldiers. You look a little woozy. Are you sure you're going to be alright? She's fine, Micaiah. She's always like that. But I can fight. I'm very angry. The food here, it was terrible. And they gave us hardly any. I will have vengeance. This girl takes her food pretty seriously. Interesting. I see Ileana is as hungry as ever. Don't worry about us. We'll carefully tiptoe around you all. The boy and I can't fight, so we'll stay out of harm's way. Good luck, everyone. I'm sorry to impose upon you. Please be careful. <coughs> And so we come to the player phase. And looking for something, just one moment. Okay, I should have grabbed the cough drop before I started this. I didn't. Now, notice we don't have a base camp yet we don't have a convoy um we only have our battle save option so i'm gonna go ahead and battle save before we even move not that it wouldn't come to this place but we skip all the in between um so we've done that now let's take a look around so we've got some fighters over here some knights We've got someone named Burton with a wind edge sword. And our goal for victory is to escape, which is this glowy spot right here with that longbowman standing on it. And we come over here, we've got some more bowmen. And then we've got this guy over here, and then there's a door. So, we have to figure out how to get through this particular map so I think how I want to do this he can't get there but he can Okay. And get a door key. Um, I'm gonna send the bow. I have to discard something. I keep thinking, oh yeah, we can, you know, do this forever. Um, and we have a chest key. He's a thief. He doesn't need a chest key. Um. But we do need a door key. If we want to come this way. Because we couldn't can come around this side as well. So, Micaiah in this game is similar to Ike in the previous game, where she can direct the people in yellow. So, I'm going to direct them to a target, which is right here. And then I'm going to move her, and she's going to attack with her light magic. And once I get soft close to her, I'm going to trade her to her the other tome that he is carrying. But, you know, I wanted to take care of that other guy and get the key to the door and all that first. So, we have um, Leonardo. He's going to come over here. Like any good bowman, he's standing a couple spaces away. 
We have Ileana. And she has thunder magic. But I'd have to put her... Well, first of all, she can't reach, but... She's gonna go here. We're gonna bring Nolan down here. He's gonna attack that guy. And then we have... Where can he go when where can he go, right? So I'm gonna bring... Edward over and hopefully he'll survive through this um, and we're gonna bring Laura down and see what happens our allies are gonna go and hopefully stay comfy and out of the way in that little corner and he's attacking Edward nothing happens And we have reinforcements, and this guy's a different color. His name is Aaron. And we have other people here. Now, if you know anything about playing this game, um, sometimes the people that are different and have different names, unlike like Boss Shield guy over here, um, are sometimes playable characters. And Aaron is a playable character. My thing is, is I have to remember who has to talk to him. It's probably going to be Micaiah or Soth. I'm not sure, and I don't want to look it up. Um, so, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to move Micaiah here, and she is going to attack this knight. And... We got we got javelins and lances. Um, Edward is gonna, or sorry, Edward Leonardo <laughs> is gonna come over here and he's gonna attack this guy. Hit him for a few points, and then we're gonna let Laura come over and staff heal. And then we've got Ileana who with the terrain setup that we have um and if edward is right here she can't attack anybody right now um it'd be nice if i could swap her out um and let her get some points but i can't do it right now the only thing i can do is let nolan attack this guy here let's see what it says for this guy. So, Edward's gonna do zero damage to him, but he can do 15. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, 15 damage to Edward. So, don't know that that's worth it. So, let's look around and just see. We can get Soth over here, and that's as close as we can get him at the moment. So he's going to wait. I'm going to shove Micaiah back. I'm going to let Ileana come over and have an attack with Elf Thunder and hopefully take this guy out. And she did. And now we wait. So I haven't redirected our allies, so they're just going to stand there in that corner until I tell them to do something different. Okay. Now, this is where I have to figure out. Let's see if we get a, a talk option. If we don't, there. Micaiah is back here. And she can't get to him just yet. Because we have this guy in front of us. It could be that he already attacked and we had to get to him before he attacked. I don't remember. Um... Edward needs healing. He has vulnerability. Laura is going to heal Nolan.
Nolan is going to take this guy out. And now we're going to see if Micaiah can talk to him. She can't talk to him. What about Ileana? Hmm. I may have to restart. I don't remember who talks to him, and it's none of the people I have awake right now. It might be Laura. So we're gonna wait. Let's just see what happens, because I want to see if it's Laura. Of course, you're gonna attack him. Okay. Can she get to him? She can't. So let's see if she can talk. Yes, she can talk to him. Alright, let's see what happens. Aaron? I can't believe it is. I can't believe it. It is you. Laura. I knew it. But Aaron, why? Why would any true Dayan join sides with Binyan? A true Dayan? I'm not sure. I still am one. Not since the family of merchants from Banyan took me in. But I could never do anything to hurt you. You've always been like a little sister to me. Hello, controller. Do you want to decide to work or not? This is... Doing what it did earlier. I put batteries in it last night, but they might not have been good, really good batteries. I thought they were brand new, but it keeps, this is the second time today, it's died on me. Um, get out of here, Laura, while you still have a chance. I'll turn a blind eye. But what about Micaiah and Saw? They've risked their lives fighting for the abbot, and for me. I couldn't possibly abandon them now. Not even if it meant saving myself. Oh, bother. What's wrong? I can't keep lying to myself any longer. I know what Binyan is doing in Dan is despicable, and I can't support it. Then, then from now on, I'm fighting for what's right, just like the abbot taught us. Come on, let's get you and everyone else out of here. Wonderful. Thank you, Aaron. I knew it. You haven't changed a bit. You're as considerate as ever. Your family would have been so proud. And so she can staff, heal, Ed Edward. Gotta get used to the new names in this game. It's been so long. So, Aaron is a soldier, level seven. Let's see his stats. He's got a javelin, a lance, and some bone rares. Uh, the javelin is uh, got a range of one to two, like any other one. Um, so he is going to come over here. And he attacks. Nolan's gonna come over here. And he's gonna attack. And takes that guy out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring Edward over. Gonna bring Leonardo over. I'm gonna bring Soft down. And then Ileana and Micaiah. And he's gonna direct Target here for them to come up behind them. I forgot to move Laura. Hopefully no one reaches Laura before I get to fix that. Um, so Micaiah can move. She's going to come down here. Oh, that guy's a bow. Hmm. That's probably not the best choice in the world. I'm going to move Nolan over here. What do these guys have? 
hand axe and javelin. So he can attack Nolan there and here. So I guess Nolan will stay right where he is for the moment. Aaron. Take some out. gonna come down. Makai is gonna come down. And she's gonna level up. Got Edward. Bring him over here. And Ileana. Leonardo. And we're going to bring Laura over here. She can't go one more, or I'd use her to heal that little bit on no one. Um, You crawl quietly back to your cell and I'll spare you. More than that, however, I cannot promise. Don't be so sure. This isn't our first fight and it won't be our last. A brave yet foolish sentiment. Before the might of empire, you lowlifes are just cracked dirt between, uh, between, beneath my boots. And they have their special power but Micaiah dies because you know he's the boss and she's not set up to fight them yet so we're gonna load from our battle save I wondered when I put her there but like I said I don't think I've ever gotten through this battle without doing it at least a couple of times I wish I had saved when I got a little closer but it's a little late for that now um, so we have Soth taking out this dude. Took a few hits that time. Alright. So bring Makaya over, she's gonna attack again. Gonna bring Leonardo over. He's gonna attack and miss us. And then we have Nolan. And that guy's tough. Alright, and um, we're gonna bring Ileana in. Makaya, I forgot we can do this after, is gonna direct them over here again. And then Laura is going to go here and be behind Edward, just like before, and hope everybody survives. So now we've got to reacquire uh, Aaron. So I'm going to move Leonardo. Hmm. Let's do this first. What? He has a steel axe. So Micaiah took him out. And then so can I come over and he doesn't he has an energy drop. Okay. 
gonna wait. Remove Leonardo out of the way. Bring Laura over like we did before so she can heal no one. Also hopefully put her in a better position to talk to Aaron. And Ileana isn't close enough to be safe and attack anybody um, right now. So she's just going to wait here. And Nolan could move, but then he can really only go forward one without exposing Laura behind him. Okay, so Edward took a pretty bad hit. They're all gunning for Edward Nolan, which is not really surprising to me. So, let's see. I'll let Laura heal Nolan. Edward is going to use a vulnerary. Micaiah can use light. She can hit this guy here, or she can hit that guy there. She's gonna hit him. And we get a level up. Okay. Soth does need healing, but we need to take this guy out and hopefully get through it. And they had their little special bonus, I guess, for standing somewhat close to each other. Um, Nolan can now attack this guy. And, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, I could move Leonardo, but he can't really do anything right now, and neither can Ileana. I'm just going to end, and if I can manage to acquire Aaron, then I'll go ahead and battle save after that. It was what I should have done before, but why I didn't, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. Um, he's going to go after Edward again. Alright, so, to bring Laura out, let them have their conversation. And she can't do anything now but wait. Aaron, however, has a whole bunch of options, but he's going to attack this guy. Liliana's going to attack that guy. I'm going to let Soft come over here and attack that one. Okay. Now, we'll move Nolan forward and wait. Micaiah is going to stay back just a little bit. Got to direct these guys. And hang on just one second. Sorry about that, my phone was ringing. Um, so, 
I'm gonna reset the target over here, bring those guys a little farther forward. And same thing for Leonardo and um, Edward. Edward needs to use the healing thing again. He always seems to need healing. I mean, let's face it, my characters are not the strongest right now. I mean, you're just starting the game, so... So this guy has a bow. I'm gonna bring Laura over here. And let her heal Saw. Saw's gonna come here. And then Aaron needs healed. So we're gonna put him closer over by um to where Laura can get to him. Actually we're gonna block. Oh we're gonna have to make a multiple person block here. So we'll put him here. And he can wait. takes care of him. Alright, last time I put Micaiah down there, that was a big mistake. I'm gonna put her here next to Laura. Bring Edward down. Oh, that might not be a great idea either. And Ileana. I I need a battle save. And I didn't get to do it. They got their bonus for being next to each other, and there was no damage done there. Another bonus, no damage.
four weeks. <laughs> A cast for four weeks. She levels up. He's taking that guy down. Now we've got the boss right around the corner, so this could be tricky. And we've got two people coming in from the back. I can move some people back to handle that situation. Okay, so Laura has recovered some of her health. And we have a bowman and a sportsman. So I'm going to put Makaya here and let her attack. So she hit him. Eliana worries me. Well, he can't attack if she's standing right next to him, so. She hits him. We take Leonardo. Can't really get Leonardo super close.
at the end of the month. Sorry. Alright, so we've got Edward healed. So Edward... Well, first let's let Ileana come in and attack. And she is lucky enough to take that guy out. And we've got Edward, who is carrying Micaiah. So we're going to come over here. That guy has a lance. So he's going to... Attack this guy, and Edward takes some pretty good damage from him. But we've got Soth coming up, and Soth is going to hit him and take him out. And so these people are all safe, and we're going to vulnerary Nolan again. And we have Aaron having his turn. He has a javelin. And looks like we're gonna get 14 of damage on that guy, and he's gonna do four to us. Or did I say that backwards? I said that backwards. Okay. Now, this guy's. You know, he's pretty tough. And heal no one. And no one is gonna come up. Oh, he can't stand there. Dang it. Um. Gonna bring no one here. And he's gonna take another big hit. He's gonna take a little chunk out of that guy. Makes me worry though, because we've got that other. I think it's a knight, I can't see him right now. On the other side. I don't think he moves, but he could move. Um, I'm gonna bring him over on this side just in case. He's gonna use his javelin. He's gonna not do a whole lot of damage. And Aaron's down in health as well. Let's just see what the numbers here look like. Um, yeah, that's not a good number. So we're gonna bring Soft on. And I wish he could rescue. He can't rescue no one. So we may have to pick up from that other spot. Because Laura already healed Nolan this turn. So we're going to bring Ileana a little closer. Just wonder something. Because sometimes, like, those guys can shoot over and through the walls. So I was just wondering if I could do that here, but it doesn't appear so. I'm just gonna come here. He's gonna drop my pie. I should have done that before and I forgot. And I should have done it in the other order. So this guy. Yep, so we're gonna pick up from our battle save. Got too much going on. Start from the pedal save. Oh, it's still back here. I thought I saved it again after I got Aaron. What's going on? Did, am I losing my mind? I must be losing my mind. Alright. So. Get the door key. Watch this key. Drop. And then we'll do the exact same thing we've done. I just. That was a battle save. I should have had another one right there when I hit it. 
I swear to God I hit it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. It's entirely possible. She can't. He's gonna go here. Can I put Eliana nearby? And Leonardo can go over here. And we've got Laura, who is gonna come in. I wish we could heal him right now. Um, just means it's gonna take a bigger hit. Um, Edward, this thing with Edward never goes well, so. Alright, here's the reinforcements that have uh, Aaron. And so we're going to let him shoot this guy. And he didn't take him out, he left him with like a couple points. Uh, Makaya is going to finish that guy off. going to heal him as much as she can. Which with heal, I mean, that's not a ton of points. He has a sword, so Ileana's... Before I do that, and I forget, direct target, we want our partner friends to head over there. Um, Ileana is going to attack with Elf under because it's effective against knights 12 times 2. At least that's what it said. Hey, my dad, I have. Um, Edward's gonna attack. He's probably not gonna get it much. No, he gets nothing but hurt. So Edward is just gonna wait. And now we have Soft back in the game, so he's gonna come over and Soft is gonna attack this guy. We get our bonus because they're near each other. And as you can see, we have two people who desperately need healing, and we have one person who has to talk to Aaron. So, the question is how to handle this. So, first, I think I'm going to Vulnerary Nolan. Doesn't get him all the way there, but it gets him a good amount. Micaiah is going to attack this guy. Takes him out. The good thing about that is it gives Laura space to come out and talk to Aaron. They have their conversation they've had 20 times now. And then she can staff, heal, and all the rest of the way. Which is good. And <clears throat> Aaron can now come help fight against these guys. So, so first is gonna attack this guy with the lance. And Edward needs healing in a very bad way. Oh, excuse me, goodness gracious. So this guy can get up to Edward. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, and he has a javelin. So I'm gonna put him here. So between the sh oh no, he's in front of Laura, so that can't happen. <laughs> All right, 
he's just going to have to use a vulnerary. That's all there is to it. And Aaron's last. I mean, he can come down here and fight this guy. That guy can come around. Your results are pretty much going to be the same no matter what. It's going to be what that guy does afterwards. Um, we've got Leonardo. He can come down and shoot at him. No, that he'll be particularly effective because he's going to take some damage here if he does this. We have to get him healed. Let's see where we can get him. I work for one of them. Right, so, Aaron, we're going to move him here. He's going to attack this guy again. That leaves us room to bring Soth down. He's going to have to... Oh, he doesn't have... I always forget he doesn't have healing stuff. Um, which really sucks, but we can hopefully get through this bone without it. Um, I don't like Ileana doing this. Gonna check. If I can use her and Edward or her and Micaiah to take him down. Um, oh, we have Nolan too. But he can't reach him, but he does have a hand axe. So we should be able to take him out. He does. So we're just going to move Micaiah. Now, Makaya could use Sacrifice and heal Ileana, but we don't really need to do that quite yet. Um, we're going to set a new target for our friends. It's going to be over there. And Makaya is going to actually use Sacrifice and heal Soth. So what you see is that he is now fully healed and that she took his damage. Uh, she's taken damage down to two. Um, so we have her and Ileana who are in kind of a bad way. Um, so we want to bring down our other guys and hopefully kind of protect them until they can use healing stuff or be healed. And so the boss is talking to no one. And we've got a javelin or whatever that guy has. So no one's in trouble again. Um, so here we are. We've got Laura is going to staff heal Hamakaya. And not really happy with our Nolan's standing right now, but he's blocking Leonardo, which is helpful. So we're gonna vulnerary him. 
I love this hand axe because he has not only this guy but this guy over here. Um, this guy's a lance, so I'm gonna let Leonardo attack him. See if he can take him for a couple points. And Edward can't hit anybody right now except the boss and he'll die. So Edward is just going to come over here and he's gonna park it. <laughs> um now we've got Soth. Okay, so I'm just gonna move my chair here just a little bit because I kind of tend to start slouching part way into a game and then the way I sit or I'm laying with my hand, my hand goes numb. <gasps> goes numb. Wow. Came out of numb. Okay, and in the meantime, I dropped my controller and it's doing the weird thing again. I turn it off. I turn it back on. See if it reconnects. Go solid. Did this come unplugged? Let me check the other end. Alright, that is fine. So why are you not... For some reason, it is acting like it needs new batteries. I just put batteries in it, like I said earlier. So I'm not sure why. There's something wrong with the controller. I thought these were brand new batteries, but... It's not... Accepting this. It's just flashing the whole time. Um, let me see if I have another set of batteries near me, and then maybe I can get these to be tested at some point and see if they're actually bad batteries or I have one battery and I have two triple A's and I don't remember what I had triple A batteries from <laughs> um so I'm gonna mute for a minute All right, let's uh, try this now. It's still connecting with the new battery, so it take, should take a second. If this doesn't work, I may have to have somebody bring me a new controller, because maybe there's a problem with the controller itself. Or there's something wrong with the wireless adapter, perhaps. I mean, it's lit up, it's plugged in. It looks fine to me, by all appearances. 
and it's in the same USB port that it's always been in. So, this is not connecting. What the heck? Alright, I'm gonna turn the controller off and I'm gonna unplug this. And if not, I'm gonna have someone run me down another controller. Um, and hopefully it's not being used and stuff because other people stream in this house as well. And I plug that back in, turn it on, let's see if it decides to cooperate. No, it shuts off immediately. And I've got the batteries in, and they're facing the right direction on the terminals. You wouldn't think it would be that hard to have batteries put in something, for God's sake. I've done it a thousand times. Now the light stays on. It must not have liked something about the way the batteries were in there. Alright, now I can fix the camera. Alright, now we're good. I'm gonna try to battle save. Sometimes battle saving bites you in the butt. Sometimes it's the best thing ever. Um, so we've got... Burton here that we really, 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 really need to get rid of. So we're gonna put Soth on him. Oh. Before I do that, we're gonna let her trade with him, and she's gonna take Thani. And she's gonna take that door key. Just because she can. Um Items, and she does have a couple of herbs, but it won't let her do multiple things, so we gotta wait. So we're gonna let Soth come up, and hope. Alright, so he takes Burton out. That's good news. Now we have to get rid of the rest of these guys. least partially healed now, so that's helpful. Got Amy and Kurth safely away. And we'll see what these guys do. And he got an herb, and it's gonna heal up a little bit. Alright, back to our people. Now, since we have beaten the boss of this, even though that's not our goal, our goal is to escape. And we are not far from that location. There's some extra people sitting right here. But first, we have to deal with these guys. So, bring South forward. And he's going to attack this guy. And does a pretty good job of it, too. Alright. And we've got Laura. Who is going to come over here. And she's going to heal Nolan the rest of the way. And love log, too. Wow, that was horrible. 
Um, okay. So what does this guy have? He has a sword, so Leonardo can attack him with his bow. And luckily for us, he takes them out. And... This is interesting. Um, I'm going to stay back here. Let's see what the hand axe stats are for this guy. Alright, so I can... Oh, he has a javelin. But if I can hit him for that in one try, he won't get to hit me back. And that's what happened. So that's good news. And Nolan levels up. Hi, Solomon. It was good. It pretty much involved gaming and just hanging out around the house, just the way I like it. We don't do all kinds of crazy stuff. We're big, especially with the thing going on out there with the virus and stuff. We don't, we don't go too many places these days. Um, so I'm coming forward with Aaron. And Aaron is going to attack. Now he's got seven. He's going to take seven. No, you know what? I forgot about it. This game, I don't remember as well as I remember remember Radiant, or Radiant Dawn, <laughs> Path of Radiance. Um, I completely didn't even think about it. He just happened to come up and attack somebody. He was in a position where I could put multiple people on him and got rid of him a few turns ago. Um, I was really kind of shocked that it actually happened that way. Um, but no, I forgot. I forgot. But I did get Aaron, so I am happy about that. Um, because Aaron turns out to be a pretty good character. Um, so Aaron attacks that guy. And we're gonna let Micaiah come down, I think. I mean, he can hit her. Let's see what the numbers look like. Oh, and we've got Fanny now. So she can hit, um... She might kill him first. And she does. Yay! He's funny. Um, Ileana's gonna come forward and she is going to use another herb. And we're Akaya direct target here. And then we have Edward. Edward isn't very helpful in this game. You know, I honestly, I remember acquiring Aaron, but I don't remember how often I used him. I know, I just, I have that memory in my head that he ended up being a really good character. And, wow. That was fortunate. And here's the reinforcements. So. I can bring her to there. So I'm going to put Nolan here. She can come behind him and heal. Edward is going to come behind Soth and trade him. Ah. I don't know. He needs those too badly. And he doesn't have any. She gave some to Ileana, but Ileana's okay, so she could come up and trade she can only take one minute. Trade. There we go. I don't know why it didn't come up before. And 
Now we have Aaron, who has vulneraries. And I'm going to put him out here. And... Nikaya is going to come over here. And we're going to direct our friends over towards that healing bush. And we're going to leave Edward and Leonardo in the back for right now. And now the other side is actually starting to move towards my people. Um, so... I'm going to move Nolan up and... He has a sword, sword, he has the longbow, but he's back in this, like, corner thing. Alright, and there's all those bows over there, there are a couple bows over there, and then back here. Um, so let's try this. Actually, did she get up there? What is Makaya? Makaya, attack. She's gonna attack. We're gonna let. Actually, on this side, we're gonna let Edward come up. Finish that guy off. Not a great level up. And then we've got him with a sword. So we're gonna bring Ileana. Uh, I can't do what I wanted to do. Maybe I can't. I can bring him here. That's very good. Hopefully he gets a better level up than some of these other people. Eh, don't know what to say about that. Weapon level up, that was good at least. Um, so, what do we have? So we're gonna bring Nolan up and he can attack with his hand axe from far away. Do a little bit of damage. And Soth can come up kind of behind him, but he can't hit anybody yet. And Aaron can come up. And we're going to equip his javelin for now. And we're going to let Laura stay back. And then, uh, next round I gotta move our target for our friends. Oh, we have more reinforcements. How lovely. Um, and they have both got lances, so that's okay. Um, so, Micaiah... Gonna level up. Well, I mean, at least it's better than what she could have had. Um, I'm gonna bring Edward up and let him take a chance at this guy. He's only gonna hit him for four. So we're gonna wait. I'm gonna let Ileana hit him first. 
seems like that was a good choice. Um, oh. Direct target. And move these guys down here. And then we're going to bring Leonardo here. He can attack with his bow. And then the risky part. Before I do it. The risky part is coming over here, letting Edward take some hit. Like, a lot of hit. I don't even know if I want to do it. But it's either him or it's going to be Leonardo. And at least I can move him out of the way if he goes down to four. Hopefully he doesn't die. Um... So I guess I'm just going to say wait, because if I attack, then that guy's going to attack me on his turn. That, he gives him two opportunities. That, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I was just thinking. I'm just going to let him wait, and then he can take the hit, and then he can get healed, but that protects these guys. Um, and then we have this bunch of fun. Um... Laura, Staff Heal, Nolan. And what do we have? We have Banyan with the Hand Axe. And he's close enough now that I can actually attack with my Steel Axe. And hopefully take him out. Bring Soth forward. And he can't get anywhere else. Can he go here? Yes, he can. And this is the last two on card. Oh, boy. But he takes that guy out. And now everything is hinging after I move Aaron on what happens with Edward. <laughs> Dang you, Edward. So we've got these guys out of the way. Oh, okay. All right. Now let's see what happens. We lived. We lived through that part. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Shoo. Okay. You. Out of the way. Go use Vulnerary or something. Alright, so, now the question is, I mean, Edward, or Edward, Leonardo, and hit him, he's gonna hit him for six. And he's got nine left. Light will do eleven. And hopefully she'll hit him and take him out before he hits her, and she does. Yay! Alright. Since I got through that, I'm gonna do another battle save really quick. And I'm gonna move Ileana forward. And this group here is perfectly fine where they're at. Laura is going to heal Nolan yet again. I feel like I'm always healing Nolan. Um, Soth needs some healing. Problem is, is that I mean, just gotta get enough forward to take care of these guys, and then you know, you don't want to leave the extra XP sitting on the field either. X this guy. And then, can he come through? Yes, he can. Hopefully he can do something. And that's as far as he can go anyway. Attack. Iron Lance. Hmm. 
There we go. That's better. I played through this game several times. Um, I know this game. Um, the f <laughs> the very first time I played this game. Um, gosh, was when it first came out. So that was. A oh gosh, for a second I was confused as to who. Damn you! I'm glad I battle saved. Yeah, I know this game, but not anywhere near as much as I know Path of Radiance. This this game is h harder for me to remember because I've played it much less. Um, I know the major storyline points. Um, I remember some of the battles and... Cat, what are you doing? Um, some of the things that happen in it but I don't remember everything okay so let's see how this works out we'll do this a little different this time perhaps I really want to kill the guy on the spot, but he's not going to move, I don't think. Um, yeah, so I guess that's the answer to that question. Is I, I know it, but I'll get to a certain part and go, oh yeah, I remember that battle, and oh yeah, I remember I need to pick up that character once I see him. Um, but going into each battle, I may not necessarily remember what it is. Um, I'm kind of afraid to move him over here. He just died, for goodness sake. Um, let's try this, and then we'll bring what's-his-face over. I mean, he took a hit. Thing is, is, I think that Bowman might get in here. So that's five. I think we looked at this before. It was both five. And he's got four. Try this. I hope we live through it. This is what I'm worried about. No one's gonna die. Oh, he missed. Now he's gotta survive. <gasps> he didn't attack Nolan. Wow. That was incredibly lucky right there. Incredibly lucky. And here's reinforcements. Oh, goody. Um, and I can't get to them. And they're next to my so-called friends. Lances. Can't get close enough. And she can't get close enough, but she can direct them somewhere else. So she's gonna have to direct them back behind her, I guess. And Edward can't get all the way there either. I hope that's not a mistake putting him there. Uh, I don't. I'm afraid to move Laura up there because I'm afraid she's gonna die. Because if she can hit, or he can hit, um, Nolan here, then he can hit her if I move her here. So. I guess my goal right now is to get these people all over here dead. Get Nolan the heck away from him. And we're gonna use a vulnerary. And we're gonna take Aaron over here. And he's gonna use a vulnerary. Now, the question is 
That guy. I don't know. I almost feel like no matter what I do with her, she's in trouble. If I put her over there, anywhere I move her up there, she can get shot. Anywhere I put her over here, she could get attacked. As well as these guys here. So I almost am just as well off not moving her, because that just adds to people who can attack to her. Although this guy... I don't think he's going to come over there, but he could. So I guess I'll move her back one, just in case that eliminates him completely. And Amy didn't get out of the way. You're healing. Oh god, what's he gonna do? Don't kill him. Damn it! Oh, I'm sorry, I was so looking at the screen. It was a good level, and now I gotta do it all over again. Yeah, right? Soth is like a beast in this game. Um, so let's restart. Hope the controller doesn't wig out. Pick up from our battle save. And see if I can change enough to get a different outcome. Because, as you know, sometimes if you battle save, you it's like chess. You have too many moves out. Um, so I do have an opportunity, at least for right now. I can target and move these people over here. Because um, I can't move Micaiah yet. I can move Ileana down, and I can work on getting Laura out of the way. I wish I could heal her and then move her out of the way, or heal her, heal, heal him, but I can shove him, or use him to shove. It's not as good as getting rid of the other guy, but I can move him out of the way, and then I can use him. Basically, she ends up on the same square, um, and that leaves Soth to attack this guy. And then the allies, now they have two times to get away from there, and I still have Nolan and Aaron on this side. Alright, so that swordsman's down. So we got this guy. And so being a beast. Level up. And now we've got those guys. So once again, Makaya can't really go anywhere. But she can come over here and she's going to go ahead and heal the herb just in case. Um We've got Ileana. Attack. Bell Thunder. She should hit him. Pretty good. Um, we've got Leonardo. Can't get him all the way there. And we've got Edward gonna go here but we can get Laura out of the way Ileana's in trouble for the minute and another level up on a weapon since he's here I'm gonna move him up in front of this guy Hit him. Er, I know I probably could have killed him, but I'm just worried about that other guy and everything else. Um, so we're gonna come over here.
really a mist? Oh no, he didn't miss. No, he did miss. Oh boy. That I'm not too, too worried about. Now so it's levels up. We have more reinforcements, so uh, Laura. Well, first of all, Liliana. Finish him off. Nakaya is gonna come down here, hopefully. Takes him out. And we're gonna direct. Ah! Direct. Target. Here. And. Now Laura can come back. Okay. Um. Let's do a little bit of switching around. I don't. Last Vulnerary and Nolan. No. Yeah, I have to. I want to do that. Up and hopefully he just yeah kills this guy and I can heal him before I bring him and then Micaiah can hopefully escape before we get these guys too close to us yeah we're like really close to being able to do that He can hit me here. I can't remember. There's an herb. And we're gonna move people out of the way because we need to. I uh, can't go too close. want to get all these guys hopefully to safety and then take that guy out and let Makai cross the finish line so to speak um so and then we get Makai escape Yes. And we're done. Alright. Number three is in the books. I knew it was going to take at least a few tries. Because that one's never easy. Okay, Amy. Thank you so much, all of you. Because of your bravery, I can finally rejoin my merchant caravan. Still, coming to Navasa, I'm stunned at the terrible state of things. Who would have thought that Banyan would rule with such an iron fist? They run your... Eh. They run your nation with boundless cruelty, looting the towns and sending your able-bodied men to camps. It breaks my heart. And here's Jorge. They make me miss Ashnard, Dan's late Mad King. And I never thought I'd say that. At least he never tried to destroy Crimea as a country. 
What do you mean by that? People make a country. One person, even a noble king, does not a country make. And a strong country only exists when its people are strong. As Banyan crushes its citizenry, it slowly destroys Dayan. The dastards are treating Dayan like a nation of slaves. If this persists, Dayan's strength will be sapped and the nation itself will cease to be. Then what should we do? What can we do to save our country? There is a rumor. If it's true, there might be hope. Look here, Jorge. Don't go spouting off rumors. No, I want to know. If there's a shred of hope for us, tell me. Well, the rumor is that King Ashnard left an orphan behind. Really? Is that true? King Ashnard had a child? Why have I never heard of this? It's just a rumor. Nothing more. But if it's true, it would be a strike of great fortune for Dayan. In the last war, Crimea used the, a scion of the royal family to unify its people and, a, and rally a liberation army. So could Dayan. And drive out the loathsome Banyan. So where is this orphan? According to the rumor, he's in the east, near the desert of death, trying to raise an army to lay claim to the throne. Shall we go there? Micaiah, what do you think? In the desert, an important encounter awaits us. It shall be one that changes the shape of our future. Well, that's it then. We must go to the desert to meet our destiny. Da 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 da! Normal safe spot! Yay! Chapter 4. A Distant Voice. And I'm going to get through parts of this and then I'm going to save. Um, I'm probably not going to be streaming for the next couple of days. I've got some stuff going on. Um, so it'll, at the earliest, it'll probably be Friday before I attempt to stream anything, but it could be longer than that. I really don't know. Um, so I'm going to go through, this is, if you've not seen this game, and I know you have, Solomon, um, that this is similar yet different in some ways to our other screen. So we're going to look at items, Micaiah, like, she's the door key. Um, we have our convoy now because we found Amy and all the people and everything, right? So we're going to convoy give the door key. And we're going to equip light, because we want to save Fanny until we have to. So if light is powerful enough, we'll, we'll do it. Um, Leonardo has acquired a Draco shield, which has, it increases defense by two. So we're going to just, we're going to convoy that before we look at everything. Ileana... Fine. Soth has two weapons he can't use right or he can't not right now at all. Um, so we're gonna convoy those. Nolan Aaron Edward Laura and I'm pretty sure oops if we say convoy and say take, it only has these couple of things that we just put in there. Um, and we'd have to check everybody's level. Now, Leonardo did go up a level with his weapon. Um, and it's on a different screen at, than it was before, or a little different. Notice it shows all the weapons this time, not just the one or two that the person can show. That doesn't mean they can use them or ever will use them, it just shows them all. Um, so he has a bow level C, and Leonardo, we're gonna look at the convoy because my memory, you know. So he can use the steel bow, so we're gonna take that. And we're gonna equip the steel bow, so use that, and an iron bow. 
Oh, the left side is still a bit cut off. Um, I, I noticed that when I loaded it up. Um, I'm going to have to get my OBS expert to uh, see if he can help me. Because the only resize I could get on it was to that spot. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I resized it or did something not quite right. So I'll have to look at that. Oh, excuse me, and this is why another reason why I'm going to be quitting. Um, but once I'm done with this, um, but yeah, no, I, d I did see just like the that one edge, and I was like, well, I don't know with my little people on the side if it's going to be in the way or not. So I'm glad you mentioned it because I, I wondered why it was it was sort of scrunched, but it wouldn't let me do what I wanted to do. And I'm new enough to this that. Um, yeah, definitely not. This is my second stream with this game, and I would like it to be um, fixed going forward. Um, I, I think I know part of what happened is that I got a new hard drive, and we put a lot of my stuff over there. And when I redid OBS, um, my screens were all messed up, and I had to go relocate all my people and resize everything again. So I think it something happened during that that made that problem happen. So, I will have to ask um, the resident fixer of games and the big streamer in the house um, how to fix that. Um, I had a sword, and I'm the only person who can use... I don't think... Yeah, he's only lances. Um, and he's only axes. So the only one who can use it is him, and he is a C, and I don't think that wind edge is oop, anywhere near a C. But I don't remember, so we're going to go look at it anyway. It's a... Oh, it's a D? Really? That's surprising. Take. Alright. Works for me. Um, Alright, so... I'm going to, I just want to look through. Alright, so we've got the Draco shield. And that was the one that increases defense. So, I want to come over and... i got to get on the right screen. So, Makai is a 3. He's got 14. But, again, he's sort of the Ike of this game. I should say that, well... Okay, he's the fighter, and Micaiah is the one in control. Um, so Solomon, you're aware of how this game works, so I don't need to tell you that. But anybody else who might watch this or might see it might not know that. Um, Edward is sorely lacking in defense, as is Leonardo, as is Nolan, but not to that extent. Of course she is, because she's magic. And her... That's to be expected. Aaron's pretty good. So, the, the thing is, is do you put it on Micaiah and get her defense boosted up because she's like an important character? Or do you put it on one of your other fighters that could use a little bit because they're more on the front lines and she attacks usually behind other people? Um, I'd eventually like to be able to get her strong enough, so I'm kind of torn. Um, that's what I do. I have to think about this for a second. Alright, so I was just conversing with another player of this game in, in my house and trying to decide. Um, I like the extra defense on the frontline units, especially Jill, but up to you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, you know, I was just discussing the fact that I think I'm going to hold on to the Draco shield and see what happens. Um, I'm going to come down to manage and see 
Um, I just want to see how much bonus XP I have. Um, so I have 505, and I was basically advised not to use any of it. But yet, being the operative word. Um, so I'm going to hold on that for right now. It's not a whole lot of points. I don't think I have any extra skills to assign. Um, yeah, so don't need to worry about that. Now, Makaya, she's already an A with Soth. Oh, I forgot that one does this. Alright, so you have to create different units. Or different support people. Um, I forget how I did this before. Do you know how the bonus XP works differently in this game compared to Path of Radiance? Um, I was talking with the resident gamer about the bonus XP XP in this and basically was giving given a mathematical explanation as to why I shouldn't use it like I normally would be inclined to and to hold it because and let's see if I can get this right it basically had something to do with the fact that when they level up through the game they have a certain basically odds of rolling the die one through eight for those uh, stat increases and I'm on the wrong screen to look at that so let me go up and look at it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He said eight, but I don't know. Anyway, there's those seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. The top ones, there's eight. But anyway, what he told me was that basically you get the chance when they level up through their normal experience points and what they get in the game to get those level ups to get their take their chances that they're going to max out their stats through using those and as time progresses and you have less and less um, to go in some of those areas then it's going to pick up uh, with the bonus XP sort of I'm, I'm, I'm saying that kind of wrong I know but th that was the gist was so let's say that we maxed out on let's look at sauce because he's got a lot of stats so he's almost maxed out on strength he's really close and he's high on several things but his magic is low as far as his resistance or whatever and his speed could go higher you know so if I let him naturally increase those through the game then he has better odds of using that bonus XP to be targeted more wisely I guess is the way that he put it to me. Um, yes, well, speed is important too. So that is the most basic explanation that I can come up with because I just had this conversation before I started streaming. Um, and I, I get what he's saying. I guess I'm just not repeating it probably quite as eloquently as, as he put it. Um, so what do you think, Solomon? Is that fairly accurate, do you think? Um, as far as what you're, you're thinking? Because that's what he told me. Because typically what I do is I just go and I'm like, Alright, well I'm going to use my bonus XP and I put it on the people that I want to put it on. And these are the people I want to continue taking forward and not really worrying about it from that particular angle. I've never looked at it from that angle. I just sort of play intuitively and the way I want to play. If you saw me play Path of Radiance, you probably picked up on that. I do have some strategy in there, but a lot of it is just because I kind of want to do this and I throw it in places. Hence, I, having parody on him by accident. I should not have done that. Why I did that, I don't know. Um, so yes, that's the basic rundown. Yeah, the semantics are tr a little tricky. 
No, they're not bothersome at all. No problem whatsoever. You are always free to chat with me and talk with me. And I appreciate um, the information. If I hadn't had it, that that's good information to have. I just happen to have two people in the house who are very knowledgeable about this series of games, even more so than me. Um, he'll never stream it, and she doesn't stream, so it's just me, I guess. As long as you're having fun, you're playing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to try using that method. Um, I've never done it before on the times I have played this game, so I think it's worth trying to figure it out and see if I can do it. Um, it's a real temptation to use it, I have to say, but I'm going to try really hard not to. Um, and then... What I was going to say is using it to compare my last Path of Radiance game that I just finished. Um, and I finished the other bonus maps today, by the way, if you hadn't seen there on my highlights. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice, that's why I've got to wrap this up. But... My characters in Path of Radiance this time, um, the way that I leveled people up and the people that I used um, were different than previously. And so I did get through and I ultimately won the game. Um, and I had Ike leveled up to a point where he and Gifka alone could beat Ashnard because uh, I didn't have Nasir with me. Um, I, had, I had Ina, but I couldn't get Ina. I think she maybe got one hit, if that. I don't really remember. You'd think I'd remember. It wasn't that long ago. But the point I'm trying to get to is, is that my characters from my previous Path of Radiance games were so much stronger at that point because of how I allotted those points and the fact that I used different characters. So I used Leth a lot. I used uh, Mordecai a lot. I used Re I said Reese. Raysan a lot. Um, so I used a lot of different characters this time compared to before, um, which is why when I loaded into this game, I used my advanced level players because when I compared all of them, this team had the higher stats to be imported. Um, so that's why I went with them. Um, I didn't want to bring the team and I didn't want to bring the game in which I didn't actually defeat the Black Knight because that really bothers me for one, but two, they're much, much stronger characters. So, um, I think I'm going to leave it at this, and I'm going to finish um, outfitting and all that good stuff, these people, um, when I play again. Um, like I said, it'll probably be a couple of days. Um, I am going to be having a minor surgery, um, so I'm probably going to be a bit sleepy for a while um so if you don't see me stream or anything I, I will be back it's just depending on you know when i'm feeling up to it so i'm gonna go ahead and say good night while my voice is still working and thank you solomon for watching and anybody else who has oh thank you so much i uh, it should go pretty good it's it's on my ankle so i'm hoping it works out really well my hope is to stream on Friday. This is the first break in like a month that I'm going to have had. So I'm kind of upset about that. But there's nothing that can be done for, done for it. I'm just going to have to get over it, as they say. Um, so if you are new to watching me play these games, um, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't followed me already, please give me a follow. I could use all the follows I can get. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful evening. And I will see you in a few days as soon as I am feeling better. Thank you. Bye.